I think I want another baby. Never mind, let's just go get cupcakes. What's up everyone, Christina, nurse practitioner here. So I am gonna go over 15 common antidotes that you need to know as a bedside nurse. So an antidote is a medication taken to counteract a particular poison. So the first one on my list is your acetaminophen. So this medication is used for pain or also in the setting of fever. This is a medication that you can pick up over the counter. And the antidote for this one is your acetylcysteine, which is your mucomist. If you haven't given this medication before, it is something you will never forget the smell. It is super stinky and it smells like rotten eggs literally. So the dosage form is about 20% solution, which is about 30 mils. And most of the dosage forms that I will be providing are for the adult dosage. However, you should always be advised based on what's the appropriate dosage by your doctor before administering. The second one on my list is listed in two, which is your Aliquis and your Xarelto. So the use for this medication, they are blood thinners. It can also be used for DVT prophylaxis and also for for patients with atrial fibrillation. So the antidote for this one is your Andexa, which is about a 100 milligram injection. The third one on my list is your iron, which is used for iron deficiency anemia. And the antidote for this one is your Desferil, which is 500 milligrams per amp, which is an injection form. The fourth one on my list is Digoxin. This is used for patients with heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. And the antidote for this one is your digoxin immune fab, which is your digi fab. This dosage comes in about 40 milligrams per vial. So this is definitely a need to know as well. Your fifth one is your benzodiazepine. So these are your heavy hitters, I like to call them. So these are your sedatives. Um, it's also known as Valium or Diazepam. So the antidote for this one is your Romazicon. And the dosage form is 0.1 milligrams per mil, which is about five mils. The sixth one on my list is Pradaxa. This is your anticoagulant. The antidote is Praxbine, which is 2.5 grams per 50 mil injection. The seventh one on my list is your Valproic Acid, which is a commonly used for seizures. And the antidote for this one is Carnitor, which is one gram per five mil injection. The eighth one on my list is your narcotics, which are your opioids, such as the lauded or morphine sulfate. And the reversal medication for this one is your Narcan, which is about 0.4 milligrams per mil injection, which is about 10 mils. The ninth one on my list are your beta blockers ending in lol, which is metoprolol, and the antidote for this one is glucagon. The tenth one on my list is magnesium sulfate, and this is commonly used in an OB setting or to replace low magnesium levels, and the antidote is calcium gluconate. The next one on my list is your sulfonyl ureas, which is for patients with diabetes. So an example of this medication would be metformin. And the antidote for this one is octeotride because it prevents the rebound hypoglycemia after the overdose. So it suppresses the secretion of growth hormone and insulin as well. And the dosage form could come in 50 or 100 or 500 mics per mil, depending on the doctor's order. The 12th one on my list is your atropine. This is commonly used for your ACLS medication that's used for bradycardia. And the antidote for this one is physostigamine. Number 13 is your Coumadin. This is your blood thinner, which is also for your DVT prophylaxis or AFib. Coumadin is also known as warfarin. And the antidote is your vitamin K, a very important medication to know. And number 14 is your heparin, which is your anticoagulant. And this um, antidote would be your protamine, which is about 10 milligrams per mil injection, which can come in a five mil or a 25 mil. 
And the last one on the list is your rocuronium, um, also referred to as ROC. This is your neuromuscular blocker, which is used for endotracheal intubation. So if you're working in PACU and patients rolling out from surgery, when anesthesia gives you handoff, they will tell you if they gave ROC or if they had to administer any type of antidote, which would be the Sugamidex, which is a reversal for the neuromuscular blockade. And it's usually given as 200 milligrams per two mil injection. And if you have any other further questions, you can always contact your local poison control system. Make sure that number is always handy and available. I have it saved to my phone just as a little tip. Again, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for upcoming notifications. Take care.